is across the ice and too far. Now from behind the net, Rutherford's got it. Throw oh. face-off circle. Here we Blackwater's go. Blackwater's going. How about this? Blackwater and Jorgensen ready to tee up here. Down here in the corner right in front of us. Sizing each other up. Now Blackwater! Oh, oh my! Blackwater! Oh. oh my! Down goes Jorgensen! One punch, two punch, you're out of here! Uh, until that, the Charlie Sheen interviews were the greatest thing I've ever seen. And they were quickly superseded by the two punch knockout from Judd Blackwater. One left, a straight left, and then a right to drop Jorgensen. Scintillating stuff. Now, I will say this. I hope Jorgensen's okay. As, boy, he collected, or connected, excuse me, on Blackwater on two monstrous punches. And Jorgensen is still hurt. And they're going to take him straight to the locker room. Tommy, this is the stuff of legend right here. This is... This is better than Downey Bulleries. This is unbelievable. The, the first one fouled Jorgensen, and then he, he got to his knees and said, all right, I'm going to get up and give this thing another try. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, Judd Blackwater, no question about it, is now a hero in this building. Yep. And Kip Brennan would be proud. Kipper, if you're listening or watching on CHL TV, we miss you. But how about the kid Blackwater? That's something that you've probably never seen before. If you, You've you seen a ton of hockey games. You seen, think you've seen a bunch of things. Then you have. Every, everyone here has seen a lot of hockey games, even the guys on the ice. Then you see a guy who I've never seen fight. I'm sure he's obviously mixed in a few, but obviously known for his skill on the ice, goes out there and just throws down perhaps the most incredible fight I've ever seen. And again, we hope Jorgensen is okay. Uh, he went down to the ice after that second punch, and he didn't get one away. I mean, it was one punch halfway down, second punch all the way down, and he was out. And he wasn't knocked out completely, but he had no clue at that point, I don't think, where he was, as they immediately called for the trainer and took him off the ice into the locker room. So hope he's okay.